Wait, what oh. are you doing? <laughs> Creeping in. Yes, you know me. Just have a quick look at your paintings, if I may. No, you won't. Oh. The vet's in there feeling marks. So. Really now? She's got the breasts out. It's not appropriate. Well, you going to look at your painting, sir. I've walked for miles. Come back at the weekend. I can't. I've got a hot date. <sighs> Heaven help her. Oh, you know me. <laughs> Poor girl. Tomorrow afternoon? No, I'm gathering. Day after? Gathering. Day after that? I'm gathering, then I've got meetings. Well, I don't know then, do I? I like the depictions of one of us doing something horrible to an animal. No. Forge faster! <laughs> don't do that, <laughs> Ugh. I'll be very quick. I will be very quick. Very quickly. Yes. Very yes, quick. Yes, yes, yes. Please. Yep. Uh, yeah. Hey, open bed. Hello, Ugg. Ooh. I love what he's having. Ugg! <laughs> yep. Alan's being all weird with me. Doesn't want me to see those offending articles. Please? Yeah. What's his problem? You've seen these lots of times. That's what I said. Oh, well. Ah, uh, now this is what I'm talking about. For a picture of one of us spearing a boar. That is excellent. Bit quicker, Og. Yeah. I shall love you and leave you. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> Coming! Finished! I finished. Get that on the old memory banks. Yeah, then piss off home. Think about that whilst I'm gathering sorrel. Run away from yes, me. I'll run away. Go on. Bang! Yes, and he's off! Timing you. Mm. Lovely tongue. Mmm. I tell you what, boys. Spotted chili, bit of crafts. Where did it all go right? <laughs> mm. Well, that's one of my phrases. Mm. Even so, I'll pay for that one. Mm. Guys, can you let me know when the toy category's on? Yeah, we will, Ian. Mm. Sorry. You ain't nothing but a poodle. Oh, that's it. Trying to win your category. <laughs> you ain't nothing but an Airedale. <laughs> Trying to win your category. You ain't nothing but Hi. Um. Um, can I just have a cuddle? Ah! Trying to win your category. Mm -mm -mm. You ain't nothing but a shit zoo. Oh, trying to win your category. No, no, put them back on. Just. Just hold me. You ain't nothing but a French dog. Trying to win your category. You ain't nothing but a yacht chair. The week started badly for Eric when he found out through a friend that his daughter had got married. What upset Eric the most was that, at the age of six, he didn't think his daughter was ready to marry yet. He went round to her new house and confronted her husband. What are you doing, marrying my daughter? He screamed at the little boy. The little boy attempted to explain that they really liked each other a lot and they didn't think anything should stand in their way. But Eric was not impressed. He demanded to see his daughter, but she was doing her housework. Eric barely slept that night. He couldn't stop worrying about his daughter. The next morning, Eric was woken up by the doorbell. He ran downstairs and opened the door to find his daughter there with her bags. He gave her the biggest hug he'd ever given anyone. His daughter explained that she'd mulled the situation over and had decided that she was in fact too young to get married. She said that if she and Alfie felt the same about each other in 10 years time, they would marry then. While his daughter raced upstairs to get ready for school, Eric breathed a sigh of relief and prepared his daughter the best breakfast she had ever eaten. Sorry, I'm late, Dougie. Um, Elaine yeah, was in floods of tears. I know, why? <sighs> Don't ask. But I'm sorry for asking. Well. Isn't that Sylvester Mark Van Lars Lars and Kennedy Morgan's turn Brown, Brown, Sharp and Dollars and Andrews West Junior the second? The golfer? Yeah. I think that's Sylvester Mark Van Lars Lars and Kennedy Morgan Stan Brown, Brown Sharp and Tarlis and Andrews West Jr. II. Oh. <laughs> Shit! Mm. Sylvester Mark Van Lars Lars, Lars and Kennedy Morgan Stan Brown, Brown Sharp and Tarlis and Andrews West Jr. II. The second. same in the flesh. Fancy that! Hey, should we get his autograph? Nah. Let's go. Don't like it when the poodles win. Each to her own, Ian. <laughs> I wanted the schnauzer to win. Yeah, we could tell that, Ducky. I liked her. 
Yeah, that's why you kept kissing the telly whenever she was on and giving every other breed of dog the V's. Mr. Strong had a dog. From the books? No, my bloody boss, CJ. All right, bad temperament. You're never Wayne Crofts. I'm not eligible. I'm not sure I better sleep when this is cold. I mean, I assume I'm not eligible. Fuck it. What? I'm gonna get pissed. Really? Great. Well, sort of great. Yeah. The booze will help keep me warm and help me sleep. Gotta be at work at six. Well, that's my plan. Take it or leave it. Yeah. Hey, take it. Chris. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, Chris. Come on in. Chris. Hello, mate. Hi, Kingston. Come on through. Right. Yeah, really well, guys. Hi, Ruth. Yeah. Good to see you. You're Chris. Right. Chris. Dean, come on in. Hi, Hi dear. Have you got a new job? Well, how are you? Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Hi, Chris. You look lovely. Chris, is it? Hey, Joe. Yeah, really well, thanks. It's been easy. I know. I'm sorry. Hey, good to see you, Blake. Oh, Ben. Always a pleasure. I am a bee. You're like, hey, Lucy. Can I come through? You're right, mate. Very well, thank you. Hi, Mrs. Lindsay. Oh, hi, Dad. I'm sorry I didn't call you back. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Dogger. Through. Oh, Chris, Catherine, it's been ages. Come on in. Betty, Chris. so good to see you. Come through. Right. I've invited far too many people to dinner, and I can't possibly see or feed you all. So, if everyone except Dean. Could please leave. Did you? Oh, Chris, thank you so much. Thanks, Chris. 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 Thanks, Thanks for letting me stay, Chris. No worries, Dean. Let's eat. Let's. Hope you like crab. I do like crab. Great. What time is it? About 6.30. You'll be late for work then. Yeah. Andrew? Andrew? Don't think I'll be able to drive in. Well, not your usual speed, no. Mm. Take a bit slower. Ducky. Huh? Come in. <clears throat> I'm sorry your boss died. Yeah, didn't really like him to be honest. How'd he die? Uh, his wife shot him to death. Why? I don't know, maybe he was a bad husband. Or she was a bad wife? Yeah, probably a bit of both. That's superb. Oh, a bit. Ellen! Hello? Now, Reed, do you want to go and throw stones at that dead guy? Uh, no, no, thank you. Yeah. Oh, was a vet in? Yes. She said that she'd show me how to pick berries without cutting my knuckles on the thorn thingies. Alan! Coming, babe! Shall I pop back later on? Sounds like a plan. All right. Ooh. It's a hot one. OK. Bye, then. Bye-bye. <laughs>